The last video I did about the ISDT um, charger, the 18650, 26650, AA, AAA, blah, blah, blah charger, uh, it went down quite well. So I've got this one. This is the ISDT T6 because it says there T6. So in the box, it's one of these boxes that you have to stand there and wait and wait and wait for the bloody thing to fall out. And you pull it because you're impatient. You get stickers and a charger. Literally, that is it. Stickers and a charger. I'm going to turn that light off because it reflects. Hopefully you can't see me because I'm naked. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> I've got to put it in the container because otherwise I get reflections off all the lights and everything else I've got in here. Turn that on. No, I'll turn that off. Um, literally, that is what you get. Now, on the side of it, you've got... That's the input, which is 8 to 32 volts. You've got a USB output, that one there is for a monitor of some kind, don't know, I might have to look on the instructions, here's the instructions in Chinese, in English, number two, USB port, update port, ah, that's the update port, don't know how. I ain't bothered anyway. So we've got that and we've got the output there and also the balance connector which is quite interesting because it's keyed. So it'll take, you can just plug your battery directly into it. Like that one. Now this will run obviously from 8 to 32 volts so you can actually power it with a, with a, with a battery which I'm going to do now. So there you go. Now unfortunately that's the battery I want to charge, so I can't do that. Bollocks. This is a charger. This is a 30 amp 12 volt charger and it costs £17 from the UK believe it or not. Um, so I've got mains going in there and I've got these two here for outputs. So what I'm going to do is plug that in. So that's plugged in, and I'll put that out of shot, and then I'll plug this in. So there you go, I've now got 30 amps. Zoom. Something's burning. It's the newness wearing off my power supply. Oh, this is bad. Uh, so there you go, there's the display. Now if I plug this battery in here, when I can find the direction, it should tell me that it was 14.7 volts. And then if I plug the balance lead in, there's a cell voltage. There's many different types of chemistry, the same as there are other ones. So you can do PB, you can do well, lead acid, you can do LiPo, LOHV, nickel metal hydride, cadmium and everything else. So, cell voltage, you can change the the maximum voltage, so if you want to undercharge it to preserve the battery life and cycles and everything else, you can change that. Oh no, hang on. Oh, that's lithium ion, sorry. So, LiPo, 4.2 volts. 4S, it should automatically detect it anyway. Current, obviously, I don't want to run that at 10 amps. I'm going to do that at 1.5 amps. Charge, discharge, or storage. Sorry about that, my SD card's broken. I had to get another one. So, when you set all your settings, it remembers it for the next time that you boot it up. Start. Simple as that. And this fan's making a noise now. That's the noise off the power supply. Loads of stats. There you go. Oh, 
And it's literally as simple as that. I mean, to me, for a field charger or one that you want to use at home or anything else, it's fantastic. And then when it's full, it bleeps at you. What does it go up to? USB port, 2.1 amps. So you can charge USB to 2.1 amps. Uh, max charge power, 780 watts. Discharge, 20 watts. Two to six cells. That's it. Simple as that. Link in the description. You know you want to. They're not that expensive for what they are. I'm shit at reviews, really, you know. This is a box, and in it I keep special things, like my virginity, bollocks, arse. Shall I write this down and I can read it all out afterwards, because it might come out a bit better.